With Israel moving into one of the world's most desirable touristic destinations with dozens of new hotels built up all across the country, I would like to tell the fascinating story of the birth of the hotel industry. It is a story of design charged with patriotism and with an expression of national identity. There were white, beautiful, striking hotels which sprouted up all over the country prior to the foundation of the State of Israel. On the sands of the first Hebrew city of Tel Aviv, in modern Jerusalem, on the breathing mountains of the north, by the Sea of Galilee, and on the deserted shore of the Dead Sea. These hotels were the product of flourishing modernism and modern tourism present in Palestine during the 20s and 30s. They were built up by pioneers investing their limited sources in contributing to the making of the Jewish state. These remarkable hotels were designed by young Jewish progressive architects trained in some of Europe's best schools and conversant with the modern movement. Those visionaries put the foundation for Israel's hotel industry, realizing some of the most intriguing and interesting manifestations of modernism. It is also the story of two nations, the Jewish and the newly formed Palestinian, competing for land of historical significance. By establishing sophisticated and progressive tourism movements and modern hotels designing distinctive styles, both sought to showcase ideologies, to announce presence in Palestine, and to convert travelers into settlers. Those modern hotels were sources of pride and hope, symbolizing the European identity of the Jewish presence on the one hand, and the Palestinian longing for the deteriorated Ottoman regime on the other hand. It can be seen in the Palace Hotel they built in 1929, which is recently converted to Wild Astoria collection. All these hotels were celebrating the struggle for cultural independence from their foundations to the rooftops. Yet, remarkable as they were, these establishments did not survive the problematic political state of the country. Open doors to a brief ideal would soon be locked and abundant. What remains of them, postcards, photographs and promotional material nonetheless testifies to this golden age of travel.